Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to another session of EMGS Course Talk Series. My name is Fatina Naja and I am the Regional Marketing Manager of Manipal International University. Hi my dear students, how are you? And uh, Miss Laila Tu, how, uh, how are you? Okay, thank you Miss Fatina. Okay, I'm fine, I'm good. Okay, uh, or, okay it's a good pleasure to have EMGS, okay. I hope the viewers are also good. Okay, my dear, my dear view, uh, audience, uh, Ms. Sarato is Head of Diploma in Business Administration for Manipal International University, Malaysia. Okay, so on to the first question. Uh, Ms. Lalato, can you explain to us uh, a little bit about Manipal International University and also how does the Bachelor of Business Administration in International Business this differ from other programs in the industry? Okay, uh, okay. first of all, I would like to uh, introduce Manipal International University, okay? Uh, we call it a short form of MIU. Okay, we are a, a sister of a uh, university from Manipal, Manipal Mage. Okay, so here we have a few programs. Okay, one of the most uh, look into program is is um, a bachelor of uh, administration in international business. Okay, what is unique about our program is that we, are, as we can see now, we are looking into globalization. Okay, so we are actually preparing for students to go into international. So when you talk about international, they must be exposed in terms of culture, in terms of diversity. So it's very important for them to uh, not knowing, I mean, not to have a, a culture shock when they are actually working uh, throughout globalization. So uh, now we can see that, okay, what is so special about our program is that we have a collaboration with Rennes School of Business in France. Okay, so here uh, students have two options. Okay, why do we have this business school uh, collaboration with this uh, business school is actually for them to uh, be exposed in terms of culture and also diversity and to know their uh, people when you're working around, to know them, okay, to know their country, okay, this is very important. Okay, uh, in terms of the mode, right, we are talking about how do actually students can go into, uh, look into this collaboration. Number one, we are talking about students going into the mobility program. What do you mean by mobility program here is that, okay, student in the third year, okay, they will choose one semester, okay, to study in France. So in business school of Rennes in France, okay, so we will map their uh, syllabus so that this syllabus can be carried out there. So they will study there for one long semester. And then of course, uh, they have to actually, um, everything is free, tuition fees is free, except for accommodation and also food. Okay, once they finish, we'll come back to Malaysia and finish up their program. Okay, the another uh, mode is going through dual. That means we have three years in Malaysia, that means three plus one, and one year in um, France Rennes uh, school. So here what students will do is that once they finish, uh, the program in Malaysia for three years. They go to uh, Rene School in France to get another one more year to finish and uh, to have the dwell. He will award these two certification, one in Malaysia and one from France, uh, Rene Business School. Okay, that is something uh, that I see uh, the, the, the significant. On top of that, what we'll do here that since we are the sister company, okay, we will have activities for students at least uh, two weeks to go to India, okay, to see, uh, to learn about their culture there. For the example, if I would say that, okay, we have, uh, besides of the COVID, okay, before the lockdown, the first lockdown, we went to India for two weeks to bring our students, to expose them in the way of the life or the culture of people in India. Okay, not only you talk about the Malaysian student, but we bring together with the Sri Lanka students, the Bangladesh students, we bring the Sudan students to expose uh, and, and to know their culture. This is uh, something where I, I find it very unique for them to study uh, uh, in terms of uh, what you call it, uh, international business, okay? It's, it's very, very important. Okay, thank you so much for the information. Uh, on to the second question. Uh, can you tell us more about the academic staff and also the facilities that the students may enjoy uh, to help their studies? Okay, we have, 
we have uh, academicians with a vast experience in industry background. Of course, they work in multinational company. On top of that, they have many experience in teaching also. Okay, this would be a very added value for them to teach the students, not only depending on the textbook itself, but also to have um, uh, application in terms of how do they will go around later on when they, uh, they go out for work. Okay, very important because why application, uh, if you look into application with the experience, we can blend it together and students can see, can visualize what is really happening rather than just concentrating only on the textbook. And of course, we have activities whereby these lecturers actually will set up uh, where students can go and visit certain multinational companies for them to expose, to see how they actually operate. How do actually they go into international uh, environment doing business, okay, especially when you talk, okay, you look into the sector of banking, okay, you talk about HSBC, okay, you talk about how do they actually work with the client uh, in terms of um, uh, the, the, the duration, the time. So how do actually they interact with them? This is all the experience that you see, you see in terms of logistic. How do they actually apply the logistic in terms of Malaysia and going to overseas? Okay, these are all very important. And we have a syllabus where it covers a majority of the international way of doing business as an example that you have supply chain, you have international business, you have international logistics. These are all the uh, unique uh, pro, uh, uh, syllabus that you can actually uh, find in our program for us to cater for students and the application of how they can actually uh, align with what they study and later on they go for work. Okay, thank you, Ms. Lalato. Okay, now to the third question. Uh, what are the career pathways once the students graduate uh, from this program? And also if there's any notable alumni that you would like to mention? Okay, actually, when you look into going uh, international, right, we have many, many pathway career that you can go. Okay, you name it. You name it, you can go into banking sectors, you can go into logistic sectors, okay, and I can see uh, most of our students, okay, uh, really get job, okay, and uh, you can see students um, working in Nestle, they are working in Google, okay, they are working in Shell, they are, they are working in HSBC, yeah, you can name a few of the Awit. And uh, what we can see here is that we have a group of alumni, okay? We have a setup of group of alumni in the WhatsApp group and also in, a, in the student affairs, okay? They will be looking at this alumni. We will contact the alumni. If there are any job vacancies or any um, activities, okay? Any trainings, okay? They will post it and okay, they will share with our students. One more thing that I would like to say is that we have an annual dinner. This annual dinner is actually, we will actually invite the alumni, okay, to at least share the experience, to tell what students, okay, their experience uh, when they're already out from Manipal, okay, how did they uh, go into international, okay, this is how actually they will share with the students. Okay? Very, very important that this, uh, what we call it, um, dinner, annual dinner will slot them, okay, uh, to have added value so that students are more confident, okay, uh, to, 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 to see what is uh, the real uh, uh, life, okay, real uh, scenario that they are facing later on. Okay, thank you, Ms. Lailato. Now on to the fourth question. What are the general requirements uh, such as results and also the fees that the students need to prepare if they're interested to apply to this program? Okay, the entry requirement that you need for Bachelor of Business Administration International Business, okay, we have certain certain criteria here. Okay, we can see first of all, we can see we have need to have at least an A level, okay, pass with credit grade C in two subjects, or you do have matriculation of foundation, which is actually recognized by Malaysian government with a CGP of 2.0. And also, if you have Australian uh, year 12, that means pass South Australian matriculation, or we call it SAM with tertiary uh, rank, okay, uh, 70 and grade B and above, okay, and they have passed uh, Canadian pre university CPU with an average of 70% of six relevant subjects. And also, if you have, you can come in with your international baccalaureate, that means you have to pass with a minimum of 24 points. On top of that, okay, there's other uh, 
requirements that I think is qualified uh, and recognized by Malaysian government. And of course, students, international students have to pass IX with a minimum grade uh, point of score 5.5. Okay, thank you, Ms. Sato, for the information. Uh, my dear students, if you would like to apply for this program, please don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, we, I will be more than happy to assist you uh, if you are interested to study at Manipal International University. And also, if you would like to find out more about the programs itself, you can check their website. Okay, so we are at the end of our session. Uh, I hope to see you again soon. And uh, take care, stay safe, and bye. Okay, thank you, Miss Fatina. Uh, and thank you also. Have a good day, viewers. Okay. Yeah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, and welcome to our students. I'm Muhammad Razlan bin Jalaluddin from Education Malaysia Global Services. Thank you for joining EMGS Cross Talk Series. Malaysia is definitely the best choice for you to pursue your studies, regardless of programs or level of studies. Our quality of education is well recognized globally. The cost of living here is reasonable too. Malaysia is a beautiful country that is strategically located in the heart of Asia. You can experience a dynamic lifestyle with exciting adventures and places to explore. In addition, our cultural diversities make us unique. Moreover, your safety and well-being are our utmost priority as Malaysia is currently ranked 20th in the 2020 Global Peace Index Report. These reasons make Malaysia very unique and should be your preferred destination to further your studies. Rest assured, you will experience an education journey unlike any other. We welcome you with open arms and hope to see you soon in Malaysia. Welcome to Malaysia. Selamat datang ke Malaysia.